His flock obeyed, bowing their heads. They no longer had to struggle for survival. As the flock worshipped their shepherd turned god, praise it. What's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your people. <laughs> oh, so we agree already. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world The lambs reveled in endless bonfires as each night. Rover, do you think someone would give you? Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I but true equality, the world was never to receive equal rent when every wish, or when they can make someone else bear the price. They all rush. Funny, isn't it? Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. But the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling... Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under... Feel my wrath! <sighs> well done! You did now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Brilliant answer! You saw past the obvious. The true culprit was not the shepherd, but the white lambs who chose to follow his rules. The shepherd never forced them into anything. He merely presented a choice, a possibility. No one would have been killed if they simply refrained from making those wishes. Their greed and indifference were the cause of it all. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Of course, as always, life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. Here's my final question. What happened to the black lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the black lamb was the culprit. Almost there, Rover. Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs live contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock, and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, 
He wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The Black Lamb refused, and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the Black Lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the Black Lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. my story, Rover. What really happened here, I suppose you already have it figured out? The Black Lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the White Lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I... We are the Black Lamb, the one who breaks the rules. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Well then, let's see if this Black Lamb is going to end up like you say. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to th Oh! You found us already! Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them. Uh-uh-uh. Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Let's do this another way. 
as you wish. Break. Run with the sounds. Such speed. Such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred. Tell me, do you want to be the rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking? I shattered Scar's illusion that should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <laughs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere... Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again. In the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it was. 
wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother it mentioned. Could it be? Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover, can you... It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Making up story we cannot take his words for granted. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. <laughs> <laughs> 